Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And we're going to ramble about Sims 4. Guess what? I actually got it. Wasn't sure if I was going to get it, but I did. Why? Well, EA and Origin were having a sale, 75% off. The Sims Digital Deluxe was $12. Uh, that was a good deal, I thought, so I went ahead and picked that up. And not only that, but there was a bundle that included the Sims 4 Digital Deluxe along with the Cats and Dogs expansion. That was like an extra 10 bucks for... <laughs> so, total of 22 to 24 bucks with tax. And I get the base game of Sims 4 along with cats and dogs. Where's the complaint in that? Oh my goodness. That's a pretty good deal if you ask me. And uh, not only that, but uh, Seasons will be coming out. And well, I haven't put an order in for it yet. I think I'll go ahead and, and pre-order it. Because I think I'm just going to go ahead and get it anyway. Because now that I've got The Sims 4, I'd like to do some gameplay videos with it. But, uh, with that in mind, I figured now that I've got the game, along with Cats and Dogs, how about we jump into it and kind of play around with it? Take a look at it and see what we got. What do you think? Why not? Let's have some fun. Let's talk and ramble a little bit. All right, here we go. The Sims 4. This took me about two hours to download because it's got uh, The Sims 4 this, and uh, Cats and Dogs. So what I got uh, was a little bundle that came with The Sims 4 Deluxe Edition uh, with Cats and Dogs. Um, and then I've got like holiday celebration stuff I've got this uh, ghoulish guitar that's for signing up for the Sims newsletter and this holiday celebration pack comes with these uh, nifty little items in here which are just look absolutely uh, ugly but <clears throat> but it tells me all the stuff that I don't have but you can see here's the stuff that's on sale so there is uh, city living which is only 20 bucks instead of 40 um, eventually I would like to get this stuff build mode items yeah, so you can kind of go through here and scroll through and see the kind of objects and stuff that you can get. Um, get together. What was this? This is like going out and doing group activities and stuff. And then get to work. It's like, uh, there's like three different uh, jobs. You've got jobs, but this one you actually get to go to the actual workplace. It's like, um, oh, Man, the business one for Sims 3. I forgot what it was called. Then you got Jungle Adventure. It's only $5 off. See, so yeah, and a lot of these, I'm just like... I'm not overly desperate to get them right now. I'm just kind of like, nah. This one I want. I want this one, and it's not even on sale. If it was on sale, I would have gotten it. This one, I might have gotten if it was on sale. Dine Out. Yes, I'd be interested in it, but not until it goes on sale. 
Squall day, yeah, not really interested. Out, no. Um, yeah, DLC for DLC. Because <laughs> look at this. It requires a Sims 4 game and all game updates to play Cats and Dogs. And it requires the expansion. I mean, that's kind of lame. So, like, you have to have the... This is like an expansion for an expansion. That's kind of dumb. But it might... Maybe it's worth set in 49. But no, man. I'll wait till it's 50% off and maybe I'll get it. I don't know. This stuff looks ugly. My hairstyles are awful looking. I mean, what are they? Maybe some of these objects are okay looking. I don't know. Does anyone have this? What do you think of it? It's like, I got, like, all this stuff on Simster and I barely even touch it. Like, uh, how many of you have, like, all these objects and you never touch them? I'm just curious. Alright, laundry stuff. Probably one of the most stupidest, uh, <laughs> things they've ever released. Yeah, I, it's what I want. A little game pack here to... so I can do laundry. Toddler stuff? Nah, eh, maybe. Maybe. Um, fitness stuff? I don't know, honestly, what I think about that one. Bowling night? Yeah, I'm kind of interested in this one. Again, sale. No. Yeah, that might be interesting. Sale. <laughs> Kids room. I want one of these. Possibly. Not really. Mm, probably not. Although the projector screen is cool. Movie posters and stuff. Spooky stuff. Probably gonna need this stuff for like um, the new seasons that's coming out for the if you know when you do your own holidays and stuff. But I think uh, no. If it was on sale, maybe. <coughs> cool kitchen stuff. Perfect patio. What? No. No. I already have it. I already have it. And then there's Seasons coming out on the 22nd. This one, I'm going to get. I'm not going to wait for it to go on sale. I feel pretty confident that this one's going to be good. I don't think I need to wait for it. Besides, I'd like to do some videos on that. And I don't mean the rambling videos. I've got tons of other videos. I mean, a lot of videos. At this, at the point of me making this video, I've done over 90 of them. So, of, of just various different types of videos. So, um, I do want to get into some Sims 4 videos and some of the other videos too. Other Sims games. But this one's specifically for Seasons, just because, hey, Seasons... All right, let's fool around with this. Let's check this out. Keep in mind, I have not played this game. I have played... <laughs> one Genie Luray. One Genie Luray. I've played Sims 1, 2, and 3. Um, I have uh, Sims Free Play on my phone. I've played some offshoots, but I've not played Sims 4, so this is the first time. <clears throat> and we're just checking it out here. All right, so here in a creative sim, the story of your sims begins. We'll show you how to name them, design their personalities, how they look, and when they're perfect. Yeah, no one's perfect. We'll show you how to move them into their new home. Would you like to see the creative sim tutorial? All right, sure, why not? Personality panel. This is the uh, personnel. Well, that's not really personality traits. Age, gender, and relationships. You can also choose essential qualities that define your sim, like traits and aspirations. Would you like to learn more? Sure. All right. <clears throat> so this is the personality panel. 
These are the aspirations. How do you get the tip two? <laughs> oh, I see. All right. Well, we're going to play a male. I'm not young. These pudgy faces and stuff. Um, okay. Let's see. Sweet. What is this? Then, what are these things? Oh, this is his voice. Angel <laughs> say. Skimbo George. Skimbo George. Barton Bay. All right, what's Oh, this this is okay. These are different types of voices. Bossy Jewel. Angel say. Febonet Lovo. Oh, maybe. What's way? Mora, hey, you both that. Slow Vegila. Subi Web. That's just kind of weird. <laughs> Tenawa Frangi. Antrip Califoy. Meshka Frampi Mesa. I don't know. What sounds like me? Suna, Pimeb Suna. Rainick. Ooh, Fromp. I'm going to go with that. All right. What's this? Default walk style. Okay. So this, you could do something like this with Sims 3, but not in this detail. So this is nice. I like this. Walk style. Let's check out his walk style. Oh, right, we've got a... Uh -huh. No. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> can turn him around to the side here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Feminine walk. What is this? A tough walk? Maybe. <laughs> Bouncy walk. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that one there. Um, okay, so we got those. What's this? Customize, customize gender. All right, we'll get back to that. All right, aspiration. Animal. Likes animals, athletic, creativity. That I am. Food. I do like. Well, who doesn't like food? What I was going to say is I like cooking. Let's do creativity. Painter extraordinaire. Musical genius. Best selling author. <clears throat> oh, let's go food here. Huh? Master Culinary Arts, Master Mix. Oh, let's do this one. I'm gonna do this one. All right. Essence of flavor. Sims with the essence of flavor make high quality food and drink. All right. So traits define your Sims behavior and desires. Click the button to select. All right. Okay. So we got active, cheerful, creative. This is a lot like. Uh, Sims 3, self-assured, romantic, hot-headed. Sometimes I can be. All right, so we'll do creative. Huh. Oh. Ha. <clears throat> Let's see. Hobbies. Art, book, foodie. Perfectionist, music lover, geek. Yeah, sometimes I can be a perfectionist. Let's see what else they got. I do like cats and dogs. Childish, lazy, klepto, loves, materialistic, neat, snob, snob and slob. Gluten, clumsy, now. <clears throat> Bro! Aren't <laughs> jealous, hates children. Good, loner, mean, non committal, outgoing. Alright. Let's do. I know what I'm gonna do. Let's see, these suits come happy and have fun when eating good food. No, I'm going to do Perfectionist. Grenade. Oops. 
And then we're going to do dog liver because I want to put my dog, Aaron, into the video. All right, give your sum a first and last name. Hello, my name is... Put Shep. <laughs> a rambler. <laughs> All right. Now you've chosen who your sim is. Let's choose how they look. We'll help you pick a style that matches the personality. Do you want to learn more about custom? Yeah, sure. Click on your sim's body to modify the physical appearance by dragging and pulling the mouse. Okay. Oh, this kind of popped out of nowhere. Click here to find your sim's body or shape or clothing, or click the body to change it directly. Styled looks. Tops. Ah! Now, let's take a look at this here. Hmm. Well, let's see. I like that. What's this one? T-shirt. I'm kind of a t-shirt guy. Huh. What is this? Do you have to pay for these? Is that why there's a star? I have no idea what those are. Hmm. Let me go back to that one that I saw. That one. I like that. <clears throat> uh, then there's full body ones. See, I think I wouldn't be surprised if these are from like the store. I don't know. I don't know what those are. I'm afraid of like select. What is it? Star Wars? Ooh, what's well, kind of cool. Um, let's get some pants here. Oh yeah, there we go. That looks good. Red pants. No. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see. Cargo pants. That's not too bad. I like that look. Alright, accessories. Watch. Um... Guess you can select your colors down here. I'm assuming that's what that is. Let's click that. Ah, okay. Interesting. Oops. Okay, shoes. Hmm. What kind of shoes should we get? Not those. Huh. Not those. How about these? Yeah, I like those. All right, so it looks like we've got a choice between that, 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 and that. I'm going to go with that one. Oh, what are these? Oh, okay, so that you can... This is interesting, so I guess this will... All right. This allows you to narrow it down a little bit. That's nice. Just like these, you've got bracelets, gloves, rings. Here it breaks down jeans, shorts. Okay, so this is this is cool. Styled looks. Huh. Huh. <laughs> the Chad, the Cat Dad, Boba Fett, Darth Maul, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader. Emo train? <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe not. Okay, so what is this? Renu? Changi Pumam? Huh. 
and shrimp. Neem. Okay, so this here is your muscles. This here is your thin and fat type of thing. <clears throat> Let's see, skin tone. Uh, bodies and skin tone. Tattoos. <sighs> what about what about a head? Okay, here we go. Well, I have brown eyes. There we go. I'm not quite sure what... I got a face camera, I'm just like... No, when I look at the screen that has my camera, I can't see my face, so... <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we're so you can see here what we what we're doing. We can sit there and push and pull and stuff. Okay, we can make that. I was trying to see if I aha. Okay, so middle mouse button and then moving right and left will move things around. I'm not worried about fooling around too much with the face. Let's take a look at the hair. Apparently this hair is selected. That's not too bad. Eventually, my hair might look like that. <laughs> it's like a Sonic the Hedgehog look or something. That was like when I was younger. Whoops. It's like get out of bed hairdo or something. These are very cartoonish looking. It's not necessarily a, a bad thing. It's... <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> um... Let me guess, these are all store ones, right? Oh, and these are all from, okay, these are from pets. Oh, these might be from the Christmas one. That might be what these are. Oh, wait. Every time I click on it, it changes to the pet thing. Okay. Hmm. Meow. What, what the heck is this? Kind of reminds me of Babylon 5, Lando Malari. I'm like, trying to find a decent haircut here. Alright, you know what? I'm going to go with this one. Um, What else here? Uh, we set our a everyday look. This is our formal look. <sighs> I guess I'm okay with that. This is our athletic look. Nah, I'm gonna go with that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, we'll go with that one. And this is sleepwear. <laughs> I 
party wear. Aha. This is saying these are new. That's what that's saying. Because every time it shows you where it's from. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Swimwear. No results found. Okay. That's weird. Alright, what's this here? Randomized from gallery? No. We don't want to randomize that either. What else are we doing here? Save. Open the gallery. Let's go back to personality. I wanted to check this out. Okay. This is interesting. So you can have a male or female frame and then you can have a clothing preference on whether you like to dress like a male or a female. Uh -huh. And then this sim will be able to <laughs> become pregnant or get others pregnant or, not, or you could spade them neither. <laughs> this is a little detailed. Can you, can you imagine making a female that uses the toilet standing? Does, do they really need this one in here? Honestly? I don't know. Um. Ah! Ah! Okay. So, let's go ahead and click play. Check. Click the check to save the household to your library and begin planning. Get your sims out. Click on the phone to begin traveling. All right, moving in. Your Sims need a place to live in the world. We'll show you several perfect homes in Willow Creek and Oasis Springs. The home you choose offers you unique neighbors and activities, but don't worry, you can always visit or move to any of the worlds in The Sims 4. Would you like to learn more about moving in? Sure. All right, so we got different worlds. Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, Newcrest, and Brindleton Bay. This comes with the Cats and dogs. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Got birds there. I like the little animations, those are cute. Let's just go here. Alright, so now we're gonna select a place to live. We got Whiskerman's Wharf, a favorite hangout. I'm just... I am not care. I'm just looking to see what's available. Cavalier Cove, known for its hiking trails and sprawling coastal properties. Alright. Um... Can't... Pick that spot. I guess... Why don't we live here, close to town? Pick this. And then we'll go ahead and we'll move in. The Rambler household is moving in. All right. Whims. They called that something else in uh, Sims 2 and Sims 3. Wishes. Were they? I forget. Live mode is where your Sims eat. Blah, blah, blah. Live out the lies. Under your control, of course. Do you want to see the live mode tutorial? Sure. Taking control, there are so many new features in Sims 4, but we can... Before we can get to all of them, we need to cover the basics. First, we'll click on the control your Sims. Would you like to learn about basic controls? Zoom. All right. Rotate. Hold down the right mouse button and move the camera. All right. Hold down the left mm -hmm. mouse button and move the mouse to move the camera. Okay. If you don't like the default camera control, click the camera controls button in the top right corner. Okay, so then you can change it to Sims 3 if you want. Then we move here. Focus the camera. It is easy to focus the camera on any Sims in the household. Click twice on a different Sim. So just click there. Follow camera. You can follow a Sim with the camera if you right click. Same. Time controls, you can pause, speed things up. That's just like Sims. One. 
Action queue interactions your sims plan to do will queue up in the order they will happen. This is how you can instruct your sim to... Uh, that disappeared. <laughs> Alright, well... Oh. Oh, it just disappeared. I came back here. Click one of the queued interactions to cancel it. Alright. Playing with emotions. Sims can experience an entire range of emotions. It's nothing new they've been able to before. That will change your lives in big and small ways. We're going to make your sim inspired to demonstrate how one of these emotions works. From there, their emotional lives will be in your hands. Yes, let's look at the tutorial. We're going to give your sim an inspired moodlet so they become inspired. This is an emotion that makes your sims better at being creative. Now your sim is inspired. Hover over the emotion to learn about it. Positive emotions grant your sons powerful. Okay, so according to this, he is feeling a sudden burst of inspiration. What is this? Make a group meal from being inspired. Level up from cooking. Make something of excellent quality. Okay. Your sim wants to flex their creative muscles by cooking. Use build mode to purchase a fridge. All right. Where's the house here? I'm going to assume this is the... Welcome to build mode! Alright, learning the basics of build mode... Uh, build, build, basic, build mode basics. Alright, this is the build menu. Um, allows you to select different rooms. Objects by room. Building rooms. There are many tools designed to help you build an incredible room for your sims quickly. Let's take a look at some of these tools. Let's investigate how to place entire rooms. First, click the build button. Build. Okay. Styled rooms. Here gives you a choice of pre-designed rooms, like kitchens or bathrooms. You can also build new rooms from here. Magazine views. Uh, these buttons let you look at different types of rooms. Click the tab for the room whose options you want to view. If you want to look at kitchens, click kitchens. Alright, so if I click this, ah, then that'll open up and we can take a look at it. And I think, well that's cool. So you can kind of change the color and you can buy it. Now you can completely build how you want, but this is kind of a nice way to put together a home if you just kind of want to quickly get into the game and play, which is kind of what we're going to do. Um, let's see here. Magazine view. Click the image to see an expanded version. Click individual items to purchase. Oh, really? Oh, look at that. Ah, interesting. I'm glad. I'm glad we're going through this tutorial. I didn't. This is cool. So if you if you see something in here you like, you can just hover over it, and then click it, and then it will bring it up. Rooms. You can also build new rooms from scratch. Open the empty rooms. Okay. And here is where you can start drawing walls and curves and all kinds of other stuff. And click a room to see your options. With it, you can move it, pull the arrows to expand the walls, rotate the room, or delete it entirely. Alright, let's go back to here again. Oh, cancel. Styled rooms. Yeah, let's look at their styled rooms again. Okay, there's a simple... How much money do we have? Okay, so we have 17,000 simoleons. Ooh, I like that one. I like that one. We're looking at kitchens, I guess. Oh, that one would have been too expensive. 
Well, not necessarily. No, yes, necessarily. <laughs> yeah, totally not getting those. All right, so how about this one? 4,000. All right. Let's start with a living room first. Her blue one that's not too expensive. It looks kind of plain. That's not too bad. What's this? Dining room, study, kids' room, outdoors, career. That's kind of cool. Like I won't be getting those anytime soon. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go with this one, and I like I like that. Let's go ahead and buy that. Now what we do is we place it. We're gonna place it down. But it's kind of hard to see where it would go. Okay, so we want to rotate it. How do we rotate it? Not that way. <laughs> that doesn't do it. Okay, so if I want to rotate it, how do you rotate it? Aha! Okay, I found it. It's the period and the comma buttons. All right, I think, is that the front door? Quite possibly it is. Well, let's put it right there. Yay! All right, and then you can drag your... Now you can pick up rooms and move them. That is cool. That's a new thing with um, Sims 4. So that is very, very helpful. What the heck? Okay, so... I have it placed. Now what? I'm, I'm good with it right here. You can copy it, rotate it. Remove wall, fence. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, Alright, so now we want a kitchen, right? And we were looking at this kitchen before. here or I can move this up yeah let's do that okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this boom that is very useful all right kind of weird having the kitchen face in that direction but who cares all right um Go ahead and get a. We got nine thousand left. Let's get a bedroom in here somewhere. What are the studies? What do the studies look like? These are studies. Okay. So we're gonna want to put a hallway in here somewhere. We've got 9,000 left. 
So we got 35 there we can use. And then as far as... Yeah, I'm not going to use any of that outdoor stuff. As far as a bedroom... That's 35 there. That makes about 7,000. That's kind of nice. It's getting a little too expensive. Definitely don't have enough money. I'd say let's go with that one. Whoops. Alright, we can do a pink one. I like the contrast of the, that pink, actually. Well, I'm going with that. Okay, let's turn this around. Oops. Okay. So we have a hallway. Now let's pull this out. Now, you know what? I think I'm going to keep this as a... The double wide hallway. We'll get to this here in a moment. Alright, and then we'll get to the study right here. So this will be our second bedroom. Oh, that's a dining room. Yeah, we're not going to have enough money for a dining room. But I can click on these and I can put a little table. Check, maybe I'll put a table right there. Um, study. 35. Ooh, I like that look. That's a cool look. Alright. Find our door. There's our door. Alright. Let's pull this out a little bit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and drag it. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I just did control Z to do an undo. I want to make this a little bigger. Bear with me, I'll show you why. Okay, let's go back to the dining tables. This is the dining? No, that's the living room. Where's the dining? Dining! Dining! Dining room. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have 2,000 left. We can grab this dining table here. You see what I'm... Half and salvage drafting table. So we'll click on that and boom, we got ourselves a little table. I don't know if we can change the color of it, but all right, let's just grab a, a chair. I didn't look, how much was the chair? 120, okay. Just put one there, one there. Now we need to create a, um, a hole right here. So let's take a look. We've got objects uh, by room. It's not quite what I'm looking for. Let's see. I'm looking for doors. For doors, 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 gates, doors. Okay. Now, what I'm looking for is kind of like an archway. Ha! Here we go. How about this? 
There we go. Yeah. Okay. So we have a hallway here. So we're doing a little bit of placing rooms, and then we're going to do some manual building uh, just by adding some walls and stuff. Okay, so what we need now is walls. Okay, so here's the room tool, custom room tool, basement. Okay, so you can make basements in the game. Square decks, square rooms. All right, we just want a simple wall tool. Boom. All right, so now this is all filled in. And now what we want is floors. So here we go. We have uh, some wood. I don't really want... Okay, that is... How do we get inside? Oh, here we go. Carpet. That's it? That's all the carpet they have? Well, there's all these different colors. It doesn't look like I have carpet. Um, well, this has got wood in it. Plush, 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 plush. We'll go back to the wood again. Tan bark. You know, this, does this have an eyedropper? I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Didn't Sims 3 have like an eyedropper where you, could, where you could click on something and then it's like, oh, okay, this is it, and then just continue going? This... I don't... I'm not seeing it on this one. By tile. Linoleum, masonry, stone, metal, miscellaneous. What's under miscellaneous? <laughs> we could put that in the hallway. Let's put this in the hallway. I like that idea. Alright. Um, now we need... Here we go. We need some lights. So now we're going by room, and now we're kind of clicking on certain objects so we can pull certain things up. Uh, let's see, Barnyard Lamp, Never Ending <laughs> World Adventures Award, World Adventures is from Sims 3, Ambitions, okay, that was the work one for Sims 3, Late Night, these are all Sims 3, Generations. Pets, Showtime, Supernatural, Wet uh, Seasons, University Life, Island Paradise, Let There Be Plum Bossler. Okay, that's not a uh, Sims 3 expansion. They don't have Into the Future. Ah. That's depressing. Okay. I guess... I don't know, should we something that hangs from the ceiling, maybe? What else do we have here? Oh, what's this? There's something from the wall. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Um, okay. Give us some light inside the hallway. Now let's go to the kitchen. We have a light here. We could use a light here. I wish... Um... It's 
sorry, had a phone call, had to make an edit there. All right, so let's go to the dining room. Whoops. And click on lights and see. Round confection ceiling light. Well, that's interesting looking. One cloudy day. <laughs> I kind of like that. Snowball. Square confection. <laughs> Happy panda table lamp. Uh, oh. You have to unlock that in a career. That's interesting. Festive lights. I'm gonna go with this, that confection lamp. It's got a very interesting look to it. Yeah, put that right there. That really brightened up the room. Um. Oh, uh, this room in here could use probably some some wallpaper there is a decoration we can put up on the wall too we're running out of money but a neon circle sign I kind of like, like the look of that we got some dog signs, though. That'd be kind of cool to put up. Oh, I won't have any money to buy a dog if I do this. Oh, and I didn't think about creating a dog on, on my family. Oh, I'm such a dummy. Maybe that'll have to be another video. Actually, kind of looks kind of ugly, and that's small. Ah, interesting. Okay, do you see how this? If I just drag up and down the wall, I think this is a new thing. That wasn't like that with Sims Three. Yeah, we're running out of money. We'll 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 stop there. At least with that. Let's go ahead and nothing in our inventory. We need some buy room. No. We need No. What I need is wallpaper. Where's the wallpaper at? I know. <laughs> Where's the wallpaper at? Oh, why don't we do a search for it? I think that's new too. Wallpaper. No results found. Okay. Uh, wall decorations, wall patterns. How about that? There we go. Uh, let's see. Drywall. No. Basic darks. Oh, here we go. Dots of color. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so if we click on this, let's see. Shift does fill up the room. Good. All right. That does not work the way I thought it would. I was trying to bring the... Um, the walls up so we could see what it looks like but the two controls that I oh wait a minute no it's page up 
Ha. Except that didn't quite work the way I thought it would. Aha, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so that looks good there. That looks good there. I guess we'll be okay with that. The outside looks horrendous. Um, do we have any? Oh, here we go. Scully's office. Suspiciously unremarkable. Firehouse brick. Stucco sandwich on sourdough. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll go with this. Give our house an outside at least. And I think that is all of it. Could probably use some windows, maybe? Alright, let's get some cheap windows in here. That's not too bad. 40, 40 simoleons for that. stuff and move it. How about that? We'll move this right, right there. And we'll take this and move it right there. And then we'll get this and maybe not place it where it's outside. Okay, so we've got our house built. Maybe a little walkway there would be nice. How did we get to the, uh, the floor patterns? Okay, let's see. Masonry. Geometric. Baked earth terracotta. Let's do this right here. No, that's ugly looking. Okay, that works. We'll grab some... I don't know. These are all trees. What about shrubs? Oh, here we go. Some wild grass. Flowers. Alright, put some flowers there. How much is that? There. Oh my. 
That's an archway, that's not a door. Narrow put, I think we click here, no, here to sell. Okay, we need ourselves a door. We need a good door. Door, 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 door. <laughs> the rainbow effect. There we go. What? What kind of door is that? Alright. Hmm. We're getting there. No. This must be big doors. Okay. Yeah, that works. Um. Alright, so. I guess. We get out of this here? Live mode. Your sim is inspired and wants to cook. So click the fridge to select cook. So we will go ahead and do that. Cook. White cake, chocolate cake, scrambled eggs with bacon, mac and cheese, hamburger cake. Why not? It's vegetarian safe. There's a cat over there. Can't seem to tilt the. That's not quite what I was looking for. Acquired the cooking skill. Shep's new skill in cooking will allow him to prepare delicious, straightforward classics. Yum. The higher the skill level, the more recipes become unlocked. Auto expand all notifications. I had seen a kitty. Over there. Lunch. Lunch. Ooh. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Does anyone have an oven that does that? A trash can could go somewhere else. Advanced tools. There are some powerful and easy to use tools that'll help you quickly build things. Let's examine a few of them now. Would you like to learn? Um, you can quickly copy an item like a chair, light fixture, or even wallpaper using the eyedropper. To oh, it's up here. Sledgehammer if you want to quickly demolish one thing. Okay. Design tool. Use the design tool to click on any household item and quickly change its color or pattern. Undo and redo. Rotate. If you're holding an item on your cursor, you can rotate it by tapping. Okay. The gallery. Okay, so the gallery is where you can um, get stuff from other people. This is where you find content created by you and other members of the community. This this trash can right over here. And we'll turn it around. Great. Alright. Oh, here we go. Add birthday candles.
Uh oh. <laughs> I aged up. I'm old now. Oh well. That's a little bit more accurate to where I'm at now. <laughs> Buy an easel. I guess we could put an easel in here. Hmm. Manage worlds. Open the gallery. There we go. Here's an easel. These are like stuff. Okay, so um, something tells me we don't have enough money to get a camera. Yeah, we don't have enough money. What we need is a job. Someone's coming to visit. Let's say hi. Who is this? Stop moving. I can't. Neighbor. Invite neighbor in. So you used to be able to tilt the camera. Like I could use the middle mouse button. But it, maybe it's in the options or something. Sim has gained. Oh, go, go talk. <laughs> oh, Get to know. Okay, okay phone you. had rung again. I can't have any peace and quiet. I don't know if I like this camera movement. I'm going to change the game camera to the Sims 3 camera. Yeah. Edge scrolling's fine. A beamy. That. Ah, yes. That's no, what no. I want it. Hmm. What do you want? Go in. Bright and day. All right. Okay. Your sim is in. Okay. So. So career. Shep doesn't have a career. Click to find a job. Well, this is definitely different. Might join a career. Oh, okay. So he's going to pull out his phone to do it. See, this is different. Because in the other Sims, you had to go to a computer or a newspaper. Do they have newspaper delivers anymore? Let's see. Astronaut, no. Athlete, no. Business criminal. We'll do culinary career. All right, 15 bucks an hour. That'd be nice. <laughs> Tuesday and Thursday's off. Okay, so assistant dishwasher. We work in two days. Um, no. Ideal mood. Daily task, prepare food, mix drinks. This is our friendship or relationship meter here. Um, these are our traits. This is our typical... Uh, the, the Sims meters that everyone is familiar with as far as Sims players. These have been around since the beginning. Owned businesses. Currently don't have any. Select an option. Oh, 
Live Vet Clinic. Okay. What is this? Inventory. And this? Master Chef. Cook two meals while inspired. Is he still inspired? How do you know if he's inspired? I forget. Yeah, upgrade. Here, let's make scrambled eggs. Oh, do we need tomato? I have no idea. Make a grilled cheese. Oh, single serving? That's interesting. So there's a little drop-down menu where you can um, select a single serving. That's kind of nice. It's a little compact. So instead of bringing up this um, pie chart, you just select from uh, that. That's kind of nice. Keeps things a little, a little small, convenient. Coming to have a casual discussion. Now you're supposed to be able to multitask with stuff. I, I'm not sure what, but make a group meal. Flish, Hando. Decorated. Pretty taste. Smintina? <laughs> Droba. Let's take a look at this. Wabu. Okay, so we're not inspired anymore, apparently. I'm walking away from you. Make a group meal. Alright, let's make a group meal. With mac and cheese. At a family size, would that be a group meal? Ooh. Ooh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. The heck was all that? He just dropped it on the ground. What's up, man? Okay, so it looks like some of his stuff is disappearing, all his, his little good traits. Alright, so how's his moods doing? Uh huh. Oh my goodness, I just realized we don't have a bathroom. <laughs> it's got to be like one of the most important parts of a house. <laughs> so many people, when you were watching me build this house, were thinking, where's the bathroom, man? Where's the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, she's laughing. Yeah, yeah, man, there's no bathroom in here, man. Wow. Um,. Oops. Well, we're not keeping this this sim. How about that? <laughs> oh my goodness. And we don't really have money to to really get anything. All right. Well. So how far can we can we walk with our sim? Can we just kind of like Well, it's kind of open world. Kind of like Sims 3. It looks like we can Kind of run off over here. Uncomfortable. Oh, okay. Yeah, because he needs to use the bathroom. Will you just do what I tell you to do? Yeah. 
Come this way. Are you you're not coming this way, are you? camera ends here so we can't now he's going that direction all right well Can't go anything. We're ju we're checking out this the. Uh... Okay, here we go. Can we go to this person's place? Move in household from the gallery. Uh, how no? How about we visit? There we go. We'll visit this person. Where am I going? Ah, okay. Use the B shortcut key and build more to quickly select the wall tool. Oh, that's nice to know. Cat Scratch Cottage. Okay, so... In order to visit... It guess it had to load up. Did you notice how that... Is she following me? Oh, is this her house? Where's your cat? At least we can start seeing some pets here. That's not it. Where's your cat? Oh, there it is. I hear I hear it off to the side too. What's this? Oh, so there's this dock or something over here. Buy a vet clinic. I don't have money to buy a vet clinic. His hunger is going down. So we can buy pet food, haggle, pet supplies. Let's order food. There we go. Let's get some seafood chowder. Now his house was up there. So I'm guessing I can just like walk my way up there again. But if I want to visit, it's got to go to a loading screen. Mip nap. Look at this cat. <laughs> looks like one of my cats right there. Cats are all over the place. What about dogs? Is there any dogs around here? His fun's going down. He's getting tired. Uh, he's old because I aged him up and didn't mean to. What's all down here? Is this all decoration? Can we fish? Oh, yeah, we can fish.
travel to the lighthouse. There. Let's travel to the lighthouse. I don't know what the lighthouse is, but let's find out. Okay, travel to the lighthouse. Voodoo, you do. The power of voodoo. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Huh. This definitely has some interesting possibilities as far as the uh, game is concerned. Yeah, you know, for 24 bucks. Kind of fun to fool around with, I think, just a little bit. Oh, what's this? Is this is a model of the island. It's like, oh, this is kind of exciting, man. Alright, what is there to do on this island? I don't know. Go upstairs. Alright, we'll go upstairs then. Is that another cat? Yeah, it's a ghost dog. Captain Whittaker. <laughs> okay, he's inside. Now what? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, there he is. Huh. Oh. All right. Anything else to do on this island? Travel? What is this here? Just a cemetery? <laughs> is it a pet cemetery? boat. Can't do anything there. Well, okay. Guess we'll travel back home then. We'll speed this up here. What's this? Camera options. Do do do. We'll speed it up so that way he gets right on over there. All right, travel the docks. Yes. The motion gaming rig in build mode. Is there a button? Ah, oh, there is a button. Okay. So you can click this to go home. I guess you can click this to use your phone. Center on current lot. All right, we'll click that. Go home. Watch where he goes. He's going all the way to his house, which doesn't have a roof. I just noticed. Alright, uh, sweet. So here we are back at the house that has no bathroom. <laughs> yeah, go 
go sleep. All right, so I think we'll go ahead and end it here. We're just kind of playing around with it. Um, overall thoughts, uh, it's, oh, it, you know, it, it's it's okay. I, I don't, I like the build mode stuff. If anything, on The Sims 4, I like the build mode uh, stuff. This is a lot of improvement uh, in the game is definitely with the build mode. Um, it's missing the color wheel, which I think is uh, a sad thing. Creative lesson. Chip is creative. Inspiration comes from creative sounds, but if creative activities are ignored, their emotions will suffer. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> now he's not in a good mood. Oh, that's all right. How close is he? Well, before he has an accident, we'll just go ahead and we'll wrap this video up. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm going to save this particular game. If anything, I'll start over with something else. Maybe make a pet this time, like what I forgot to do. But uh, uh, this will be the end for this rambling video. Uh, we definitely kind of rambled and just kind of fooled around with this game longer than what I thought. Uh, but that's okay. So... Be sure to uh, check out these uh, other rambling videos uh, that I've got. Um, there is also um, some gaming videos that I've done. So be sure to check those out also. Uh, until then, pre appreciate you checking in. Leave some comments. Let me know if you play Sims 1, 2, 3, 4, or all of the above and what you think. And... Uh, what you do. Hey, if you got a channel, feel free to plug. It's all good. Uh, till then, I'll see you on the next video.